and welcome to the 2018 World Track and Field Championships. I'm Alec Holtz and this is my co-host Abby Schmidt. It's going to be a great week of intense competition so you definitely don't want to miss out. One event getting a lot of the attention is the Women's Hammer. The ruckus is between Ashley Peter and Logan Prater. These two amazing athletes are currently sitting first and second going into the World Championships. That's right, and Ashley Peter is straight out of Compton, California, and she attended Kansas State University, where she was a two-time national champion in the hammer throw, and she also holds the school record at 215 feet. And Logan Prater, on the other hand, is from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and is from Kansas University. She too has a school record sitting at 214 feet. Looking at the live feed, it appears like Ashley Peter just hit a practice throw of over 250 feet. Whoa! Whoa! How, what happened there? That looks like some intense vibes going on down at the cages. Do you even know what, why they're acting like that? I'm not really sure, but the last time I heard Prater and Peter in the same headline was after the horrific accident. That's true, they've never been the same after that. They used to appear in photos and interviews together. They did. Well, I guess we'll have to just wait and see what happens today. Now on to world famous horticulturist Mar <laughs> Now on to world famous horticulturist Marcus Gonzalez with some gardening tips. And he's joined by his special guest, Jake Bartling. Hey! What was your issue today? I don't have an issue with you. You ruined my career. You influenced me too. We were in that together. Don't you remember what happened that night? Oh my god, do you know how many jello shots I have? You're in the McDonald's, I think it's uh, our left. You're going a little too fast. No, I'm not. A little, a little. <laughs> I got a concussion because of you. I got a torn rotator cuff because of you. I tore my ACL because of you. I lost my scholarship. I let down my coach. I let down my college. All because of you. Alright, so looking at the live feed, we are in finals right now in the women's hammer and it looks like Ashley Peter is going in for her second attempt in finals. Alright, so she goes first of two lines, line two, gets on that left, and oh my oh god, no. the hammer has hit the hammer cage and has hit Peter in the face. This does not look good for Peter. And she is not getting up. Not at all. She may have the mental toughness, but this is something she may need time to recover for. We are back at the World Championships, and we do have an update on hammer thrower Ashley Peter. She has been rushed to the hospital in stable condition. The doctors say that she does suffer from a broken face, and it will take a very long time for her to recover. Logan Prater is up next with her final attempt in the women's hammer throw. In order to beat Peter and Wilson, Prater will have to PR and throw over 260 feet to take the title. That's quite the heave. I wonder if she can handle it. If there's a will, there's a way. Yes, that's true. Let's take a look. All right, so she she's lining up her throw. She gets around it, turn. Wonderful throw by Prater. Wow. Let's just see where it lands. Oh my gosh, has she done it? She may have just done she, it. And Logan Prater she has thrown it. 275 feet and 3 inches. Wow, that gives her the world record. That gives her the world record. That is a 30 year old record. Not only a new world record, but a massive PR by Prater. And not to mention world champion. That should easily qualify her for the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Well, this has been some day. It has indeed. We have seen a lot of great competitors and a lot of good competitions, and hopefully we will see a lot of the same familiar faces in Tokyo. My name is Abby Schmidt. My name is Alec Holtz. Until next time, signing, signing out. You know, maybe it really wasn't your fault. Maybe we were in this together. <laughs>